I should have died. Written by the unknown Chadet. I should have died, but I did not. And now, here I lay, six feet beneath an infinite wave of soil and rock and filth, weighing down on the door above me, blocking out any chance of clawing my way out. Beneath here, where I could not move for even a moment, the slightest shift in posture bringing me pressed up against the rough wooden surface of my tomb. It is perfectly scaled to fit me, with absolutely no further room. Pains and aches pulse through my legs and calves. The door is heavy, and possibly so, and I know for a fact that even if I were to somehow open it up, I would be swallowed whole by the world, drowning me in an instant before I had time to even realize it. And that would be the end of that. And so, I remain. My only possible hope being for someone, anyone, to happen across me. But I know the impossibility of such an event. My breath grows short as my head begins to swirl uncontrollably. As much as I grasp, Holding onto each and every last gasp of oxygen, I know that I am living on a finite resource. My stomach growls. Painful tremors that shudder my entire emaciated form, traveling all the way up, and manifesting in short spurts of subtle vomit that dribble from my chin, mixing with the sweat and tears. My throat grows hoarse, scratchy as an old record. Even opening up my mouth is a painful experience that brings an all-new level of hell to my being. All around me, I can hear it. The crawling, and the clawing of the life down under as they burrow their way around me, and I am sure that it shall only be a matter of time before they find a way inside. Find a way, or make their way. But they won't find anything. Just a husk, and the more that I think about it, the shorter that my breath becomes, the more painful heights my headache reaches, as if it is ready to explode like that. I wish it would. I wish this would end. But this is my purgatory. I should have died, but I did not. I Fell Down a Hole Written by Collar Close With my arms stuck between the earth and my body, there was no way for me to move. The first day I spent down here, I struggled long and hard. But now, with all my energy wasted, I could feel the last remnants of hope slip away. Curses. How foolish I had been to bring my cell phone with me on this expedition. Yes, the cell phone is the reason I am stuck here in the first place. I was too occupied with the little gadget to spot the tree stump on the ground below me, causing me to trip and fall headfirst into this narrow hell of mine. The last few hours have been more pleasant than the previous, I must say. Instead of panicking and shaking and struggling, I've made acquaintance with several of the little creatures crawling around on the ground before me. Most of them have been mocking me for the predicament I get myself into, but Anton the Ant, Betty Beetle, and Sluggy were all kind to me. Don't lose hope, Don, they said with their high-pitched voices. Someone will find you soon enough. Thank you so much, all three of you. You cannot know what it means to have you accompany me through this tragic situation. Please, would you give your new friend a kiss here on the lips? Not you, Sluggy. I mean no offense, but the slime still makes me a bit queasy. None taken, the slug answered. As Anton made his way toward me, a rumble was heard from further down the hall. Oh dear. 
It's the boss. I'm sorry, Don, but we must return to our posts at once, Anton said. I understand, I replied. Please visit me again. But before I got an answer, my friends had all rushed away. With the path ahead of me now clear of creepy crawlies, the rumble was heard once more, closer this time. And suddenly, a pair of white ears appeared from the darkness in front of me. A rabbit, I shouted. Yes, yes, here I am at long last, it said. Oh, but look at this. I'm on time after all. Rabbit, are you here to invite me to a tea party? I asked with excitement. I'm awfully thirsty, you see. The rabbit slowly nodded. Yes, that is precisely why I'm here, Don. And you'd better drink up quickly. The rabbit turned around and scuttered back down the hole it came from. And I felt the first drops of rain land on my boots. Praise be, 